Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily download and install the current MySQL version that is MySQL 8.0.27 on Windows 11. We will install MySQL Server, Shell as well as MySQL Workbench also. So guys, let's begin. At first, we will download MySQL which is free on open source. Go to the browser. I am using Chrome. You can use any browser. Here in type MySQL. Press enter. On pressing enter, you can see the official website is visible. Click on it. On clicking go to downloads. Now go below. Here and click on MySQL GPL downloads. Here are the community downloads visible. Click on MySQL installer for Windows. Now you can see MySQL 8.0.27 is visible. You can see here the MSI installers are visible. The first one is the web installer and the second one is the actual installer which we will install. It's only 470 MB. So 32-bit is visible but it works for 64-bit as well. Click on download to download it. You don't need to log in and sign up. It will, it will just download after clicking here. No thanks. Just start my download. Now the download will start. It's 470 MB as you can see here. The MSI file. Just wait for a few seconds. Guys, you can see the MySQL installer downloaded. Double click on it. I'll minimize this. Here and you can see the setup type is visible. Here and select the setup type. I'll straight away go to custom. That is we will manually look into that what we need to install. Click on next. Here and you can see we will select the products now. Go to MySQL server because first we will go for MySQL server. Here it is. Click on the plus sign and here it is. 8.0.27. Move it here. Now go below. And workbench if you remember we were also installing workbench. Move it here. And the last I will go for shell. As I told you before. Here it is. All three looks fine. Click on next. Here and you can see ready to install all three. Click on execute. Now it will install. So guys you can see all three got installed. Click on next. You can see it is ready to configure now. Now I'll click next. Type and network in. Looks fine. Here is the port number. Keep the same and click on next. Here and you can see you need to select the authentication method. Go for the first one. Recommended. Click on next. Here and add a password of your choice. So I'll add the following. This will be your MySQL password, root password, root user password. You can see it looks fine. So I hope you know the default is root user. If you want to add a new user, click on add user. Here in add a name. Let's say I'll add Amit and host I'll go for local because I'm installing on my local system. You can add the role. I'll go for admin only. DB admin. And add the password here and click on OK. This will create a new user. New user. But I'll click on cancel because the default looks fine to me. You can also work on the default root password. Click on next. Here and you can see Windows service MySQL 80. Keep the same. Click on next here. Now apply configuration. This is the last step. Click on execute. All this step will finally install all the three MySQL server, workbench and shell. Click on execute. It will take some good amount of time. Guys, you can see the configuration is successful. Click on finish. Configuration complete. Click on next. Here and you can see the installation is complete. It will start the workbench and shell after startup. Click on finish. Everything looks fine. The shell started. And the workbench also started. I'll click on the instance. So remember we created a root password. Click here. Now enter the same root password. Which you entered before. Click on save and click on OK. 
here and you can see work been started if you want to learn how to create a new database and table and other stuff on mysql workbench you can refer the link in the description of this video i have provided the entire tutorial minimize now let us see wherein we install mysql go to c drive click on program files herein you can see mysql will be visible here it is below mysql you can see all three server shell and workbench are visible click on server click on bin and just click on bin and just copy this path minimize go to start type environment variables click on the first one open it system environment variables under advanced environment variables click on it and here it is user variables and system variables i want the system variables i'll go below i'll just double click on path and i'll click on new right click and i'll paste the same path the following path i have just pasted it here click on okay okay and the last okay now all the steps are complete go to start here in type cmd click on open and open the command prompt herein now i'll check that we have successfully installed mysql or not for that type mysql space hyphen hyphen version and press enter you can see we have successfully installed 8.0.27 okay guys now i'll log in it using mysql hyphen u space root minus p hyphen u is for user remember user was root the same is visible and hyphen p is for password when i'll press enter you need to add the same root password we entered before if you remember enter the password same password press enter here and you can see we successfully logged into our mysql you can see everything you can read here we successfully added we successfully reached here now let us type the command show databases semicolon and press enter you can see the default databases are now visible if you want to create a new database type create database and database name my name is amit db database name is amit db you can add your own name or any other name for your database semicolon and press enter you can see we created a new database now type the same command show databases and press enter show databases and press enter you can see amit db added in this way you can create a new database so guys if you want to learn how to create a new table and work on the operations of a database you can refer our entire free tutorial i have added the same link in the description of this video so guys in this video we saw how we can easily download and install mysql server shell and workbench on windows 11 if you like the video do subscribe to our channel amit things